Okay. Going to go through some K and R exercises and see if I can't get a few of them implemented for both Unix and Nine. I don't really know what'll be required for this, but I'm gonna skip ahead to some of the later exercises starting around chapter one, page 30 in the second edition, looking at Exercises 1.16 through 1.19. So the first one says, revise the main routine of the longest line program so it will correctly print the length of arbitrarily long input lines and as much as possible of the text. Okay. Well, I don't want to go back and dig that program up. But let's write, I guess, exercises I can just write the plan nine version. So touch x1 16 dot c. Oops. And I have a skill. Hi, Davros, nice to see you. I have a scale program, and I think I can just, yes, so this would give me like the skeleton of the basic program, and for completion's sake, I'm going to try to use the bio, buffered IO library. Do, do, do. Let me see if I can get a whole page on the screen here. I guess that's pretty close. So we need BFD open, I suppose, for opening standard in. So this is standard input and mode o read and does that return i guess that returns a bio buff um bio buff pointer yes okay it's so then in and we open fd0 got two eyes so you have standard in Revise main routine correctly print so print the length print the length of arbitrarily um, input lines and as much as possible of the text. So this is basically just cat. Let's use this. Okay. Oh, I like that. There we go. Reverse indentation. Okay. So then I only need in and out printers. And then we'll do out equals BFD open, standard out, go right. Okay, so then I can probably do a while loop. I just have a feeling that's what I'm going to want. And then I think I want 
B read stir. Me check out the seem to have broken my page window somehow. Seems non responsive. Uh, man dash p bio. Not sure what I did wrong. Oh, I see it. I pushed the arrows. I see. It's like buffering the arrow inputs until I hit enter. If I hit enter, I guess I go through. And dash p bio. I don't remember all the keyboard shortcuts for page, but that's okay. Next, next. Maybe yes. Okay, so b readster. Turns a malloc allocated buffer containing the next line of input delimited by the lem, terminated by a null byte. Unlike bread line, which returns when its buffer is full, even if no delimiter has been found, bread-reader will return an arbitrary long line and a call. Okay, if null delim is set, the terminal delimiter will be overwritten with a null. Okay. The return value. I don't think I even need this. I guess I could just do um, rune reading since I just have to do printing the length and as much as possible of the text, which should just be rewrite. So I I can just do that on rune. I don't know if it's fast or not, but we can. B get rune to read the bytes of the next UTF sequence in the input stream returns the value of the room represented by the sequence negative at end of file. Okay. So we'll just do that. E um B get rune on in and then we need I guess B put rune. And then B get rune. Yep. Or B get C B unget C. Mm, B get rune. Yeah, it just takes the BP, returns along. Oops. Oh, I guess, um, I guess that's the rune. I guess that makes sense. B get rune, B put rune. Okay, that seems fine. Does B put rune return an error code? Return something. B put rune out. I guess I can probably find that uh, explanation on the next page. The put rune calls B the low order 16 bits of C as a rune on the output stream. I'm going to guess that uh, B put runes return. It's just the, I guess it could be size or number of bytes written, or it could be just an error value. I guess there's an easy way to find out. Sys source lib file. The sys first. Oh, I, I remember now. And then cat b rune.c. Let's see what it does. Rune to char. Uh, okay, that's the value. Return B bad. Oh, interesting. B E O F. So it could be a few. It is, I guess, rune to char. Rune to char copies one rune at R to at most UTF max bytes starting. S, which is the number of bytes copied. Oh, so it makes it into a 
it makes it a it makes it into a string basically. Seems a little excessive, but all right. Ut I, I guess I guess it makes sense. Utf max defined as four. It's the maximum number of bytes required to represent a room. It returns the number of bytes copied. Okay, so it's number of bytes copied. Or an error value and then I wonder if like be bad and everything are included in the header guess not that's okay but we'll handle it anyways And then I guess I can have an error output as well equals EFB open to all right. Can't forget to B close all of these. B close in B close out. Close error. There we go. And I assume close flushes. I don't remember exactly offhand. B flush, B right. Where's my B close though? Is that not one of these? Just be flush. But if it's open, then it's gotta be closed, right? B term, ah, uh, that's what it's called. B term. B term. B term. Okay. And then God, I'm gonna keep hitting the stupid arrow key. I guess it's probably page down, page up. No, I guess not. Wacky. Um, B put, B print, B write, B term flushes the buffer and returns return value. Dope. Okay. So it'll flush it. So we do our error test here and it's less than one, I suppose. I guess zero is probably a valid value. And I think I can use sysfatal here. Yes. Sys oh, I guess that means I don't need this error one if I can just kill myself gracefully. Sysfatal error did not write rune. And we get sweet, sweet percent R or R. error value, or error string value. Is this fatal error if not read room? Percent R. I don't remember if they need a new line. I feel like they do. And then this is if n is less than zero, or if R is less than zero. And then uh, I should find out what B bad and then B E O F or C D S. Wait, is this the library one? G B E O F star dot C. Uh, G B E O F star dot H. Don't have one of those. What is B O F? Uh, uh, slash this slash include star. Oh, oh, it does have it. So if it's B E O F, if R is equal to B E O F, then we break and then put rune should never, uh,
have EOF on it, or we should just treat it like an error if we hit it. Clean this up. Okay, so that should in and out everything. So let me do eight C X one dot C and then eight L X that and then eight dot out. Let's put that in our little tag here. Lots of errors. Oh yeah, while um while one, I guess. Just run forever by default. Not bad. Incompatible type struct bio buff um, has to be a pointer. Because it's talking about indirects. Yeah, that's probably a good start. Not enough function arguments to put rune, obviously. There we go. Put opcode out of range. Opcode out of range. What does that mean? Libc two six nine one five. What the hell? Oh, it's because it's dot c. Oh my god. Obviously, probably not. Wait, it didn't change. There we go. I don't know why that's taking so long. Oh, it's because it's on my phone. I can tell I'm a little low brain cell right now. Um, I do this. Test one, two. Is this, oops. Is this how this works? Can I just use brackets that way? Ah. Um, and then echo and end. Echo test one, two. Okay, so that's what we get out here. A little visual break there to make this a little easier. There we go. Okay, test one, two, and it looks like we get exactly that out, which is good. So now we can do let's see, exercise 116 correctly print the length of arbitrary long input lines and as much as possible of the text. So we already did the text part and the length of arbitrarily long lines. So we just print line length after we read the line. So we'll do insulin, um, in the interest of lines potentially being very long. We'll use an unsigned, this is a 32-bit machine, so we'll use a U32 int equals zero. And then after our error handling, We can do if r is equal to new line. If we need to do something like that for runes, there we go. Um, len. So that's the that's the tricky case when it is a new line. Else We will, so we'll do len plus plus if it's not a new line. I wonder if new lines are considered part of line length. So if I do like echo with no arguments and I put it in word count, I get, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember word count output. Lines, words, runes. Okay, so it counts as one line. So. I guess that doesn't lines words bytes lines words bytes 
Okay. I mean, it does count as a byte. So I guess I'd include it. Um, len plus plus. Okay. So len plus plus happens regardless. So we'll put it out here. Now we only have the new line case. And then we do len equals zero. And before that, we do b print on standard out. And we'll do line length equals percent uh, long decimal. Guessing. Unsigned long decimal. There we go. Line length. Sign line decimal len. Okay. Put that in here. Oh, I guess I need to separate it. Okay. Line length equals five. Line length equals two. Line length equals two. Line length equals one. Yeah, that seems to check out. Okay. So. Give it a little separator here also to make it a little more visually distinct there we go nice this output format works for me okay right, so that's 1.16 uh next one touch uh, x1 17 c and this one says write a program to print all input lines that are longer than 80 characters so very similar but actually extremely similar to this 1.16 except we'll come in here print lines greater than 80 roots there we go Get rid of the original and then we do this and okay so here we do if len is greater than 80 we'll say max and then we'll do i don't quite remember how const works in c do const max equals 80 or min, I guess it's not max, it's min. I think this can be simplified. Um, if we move So the negative case, we wouldn't even print. It says only print lines that are greater than 80. So we don't need this print. And then in the new line check, we can do if len is less than after or if len is less than or equal to 80, then we this is tricky. It's hurting my head a little bit. Um, I want I want to only write len equals zero ones, but I'm not sure. I can I don't think I can do that here. So len equals zero and break or continue. My bad. And then we avoid dropping into this. Kind of icky. I suppose I'll take it. Um, one point. 17. Ooh, should really turn that into like a file or something. Equal, equal, equal. 
they shouldn't print anything. Prints test one, two. Oh, I see. Um, can we put this? here and then take it out and then put this after the right there we go I think this is the way len is if it's not a greater than 80 line then we just continue. Let's do that. Okay, so that prints no lines. And if I do like, I don't know, make a line that's greater than 80 characters. It's like an awful lot of characters. Oh, that's pretty close. Let's find out. Nice. Okay. Oh, it only starts printing the line. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. It only starts printing the line after that point. I guess that makes sense. That's what I told it to do. This probably means we need to read. So we either ask bio to read the entire line in for us or we will have to read it in for us and i'd rather just have bio do it let's do that So we will need to use bereadster. And that, I guess we could use bereadline. Reads a string from files to bp up into including the first delimiter. And the line is not altered. The restraint string probably won't be null terminated. That's okay. I guess, actually, that's not okay. I guess I would have to use B right. Turns a point to the start of the line. B line line returns the length. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, we don't need to modify it. So we'll use, let's see, previous. line len there that is b read line all we need is delem okay um and it does not null delimitate so we'll do um n equals b line len or yes that's on n i guess b line len yeah and then we'll do the read line returns a void pointer. That seems kind of silly. I'm going to say a char star. Char star buff line. There we go. We'll say line equals the read line in. And uh, new line there. Okay. Okay. We cannot read line. Then we'll do B right and B right works on a BP void and an N. So we do 
out line n and then this is actually len so we just drop excuse me v line len returns is it an int i really hope it's not it is i think it's len don't need to increment it if the line is less than 80 we continue is b read line stuff malloced is the real question string probably won't be null terminated b read stir is So what is B? Does B read line just point me into the buffer? I guess we can find out. Cat B read line. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's look for allocations. B line BP and the limb. Oh, bad. Mem move. <laughs> Found a new piece. See mem move. This makes me think that uh, this just points me into their buffer. Okay, we'll do that, or we'll accept that, and the not free what it gives us. Do this. Oh, put do this. Name not declared. Or er, sorry. Um, don't need that. Uh, we do still need n, I guess, because I reuse that. There we go. Name not declared R. Oh, if uh, that's a good question. What does B read line return? Returns a pointer to the start of the line or zero on end of file. All right, so come on, brain, you can do it. Zero on end of file or read error. Okay, so if if line is equal to zero, okay, if R is less than zero, then we cannot read. Okay, that checks out. And then I see that paren out of place. What was that? Wacky. Okay, now it prints the whole line. Test and no, 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 no. Okay. Great. 1.17 down. Do, 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 do. Let's see, how long have I been at this? About 30 minutes? All right, this was kind of a test to see 
how well this went. So uh, Davros, I think you're the only person here. I'm going to cut this, but thanks for showing up. Take care.